specifically You're gonna see casting careers coming to a close, not gonna lie. Um no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, I'm doing summer. I'm doing summer. I'm doing summer. But yeah, we'll see what happens in the future. We'll see what happens in the future. Little bruvs. I really like casting, though. I really like it. You had to pick between Koshiming Worlds and casting it. Which, which one would you choose? Incredibly difficult to play out. Well, anyone's legend defied expectations in <sighs> game. Probably co streaming it. One, but the thing is with casting is frog. look, a I love casting. Don't get me wrong. I really love casting. But when you're a caster, you don't work every day. So let's say Worlds is 30 days. I'll work maybe like 14 of those days, right? The rest of those days, I'm either just sitting there doing nothing or I'm off or I'm chilling. And I'm in a foreign country. It's hard to stream. And if I'm co-streaming Worlds, I can do every day of every game of every series of the entire tournament. And I can also make YouTube videos about it. I can make content about it. I can make clips about it. I can make TikToks about it. I can uh, stream all of the viewers. I can keep up my Twitch stuff. Uh, so, like, the thing is with co-streaming and casting, the value of co-streaming is a lot more than the value of, like, for example, casting, right? Uh, for an individual. For, 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 for some people, it might be different, you know? Maybe they, like... You can use the argument of which one you enjoy more. And like casting is really fun. Like it's so much fun. I fucking love casting. It's definitely like one of my favorite things to do. But it's crazy not to co-stream if that makes sense. It's hard to tell you much about it without going into too many details. Um, but I think I'm in this like weird... Looks like typical five point, nothing, uh, no, no, no early I think I'm in this like weird zone of they know as top laners, I'm glad that being a caster a and a co streamer. Like and I don't know what that time, looks like. This matchup is incredibly hard. It's Q3 versus as co streamer becomes uh, more w, accessible for the league ecosystem for everyone. Just the laning phase by so really I'm I don't know I looking forward to what can be happening there I will say Carter I don't know uh, spell book here but I don't know I've been uh, co-streaming for two, two years now I do want to see how the Renata plays co streaming LCK so and LPL for two years and um, I mean it's a huge part of my content and it's like a big the grind up love you man less than three and and you also have to understand like what is the future of esports you know and if co-streaming is the future of what esports looks like, then yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much I can talk about it to be honest, but we'll see what happens. Um, so I love casting. I love just sitting here, talking about the game, maybe tr teaching you guys a few things here and there, and also having a laugh while we're watching. Like, uh, it's just, I don't know, it's fucking great. Pog, let's go, man. Like, the thing is, MSI was, like, the big... MSI was, like, a big risk to go co-streaming it, right? And, um... The fact that co-streaming MSI went so well, like, I thought... I would do LCK numbers, where like an LCK final, I think we peaked like 30k. I expect it to be hovering around 20, 30k for MSI, which is like really insane. But we hovered around 40 to 60k, and like that is... Those numbers on Twitch, like, <laughs> that is fucking un like mind-blowing. 